we found that a few stores are taking a different approach this year. The more you buy, the more you save. But we've also found that a lot of people are seeing that the more time they spend out here, the more money they spend. We're live at Queen Center Mall in Queens this afternoon. Jay Dow, CBS 2 News. All right, Jay. Thank you very much. Well, shoppers poured in by the thousands to Woodbury Common Outlet Mall in Orange County. Buses began leaving Port Authority last night, and the craziness is still going. CBS 2's Catherine Brown was there. Retailers call today Black Friday, but most shoppers could just as easily call it Frantic Friday. The lines are extremely long. Way too many people, but it's, it's fun. At Woodbury Common, stores opened at 9 o'clock last night and stayed open all night long. Well before dawn, shops were packed and shoppers were racking up big deals. Got a nice Sony uh, LCD. Save about five, six hundred dollars on it. As the day wore on, many got worn out, but not Wendy Bonas and Emily Hendrick, who brought their suitcase here just to cart around all their bargains. You yeah, just came prepared, girls. huh? This is our second load. We've, we've <laughs> emptied it, and uh, yeah, it's all in the car. We went to Gap and um, um, and, and Longchamp long and Brighton. We went but we just, you know, yeah. it's early. Alan Felicia and Natalie Moore traveled here from France just for today's sale. Good, good, good. Very good deal. This year, as the economy slowly but steadily improves, shoppers seem to be more willing to dig deeper into their pockets. I've gotten some uh, sweats and some boots uh, and a lot of like hats and scarves. Consumer experts say instead of the necessities like coffee makers and vacuum cleaners, this year jewelry and electronics are topping wish lists. I'm looking for a purse for my daughter, yes. and you can get a really good deal on that today. We all know Black Friday means big sales, but many don't end today. Some, like this 25% off sale, last all weekend. Reporting at Woodbury Common Premium Outlets in Central Valley, New York, I'm Katherine Brown, CBS 2 News. Back in the city that never sleeps, shoppers apparently don't sleep either. A line formed overnight outside the Best Buy electronics store in Midtown. It was a long wait, especially for those who arrived before midnight, because as the sign said, the doors didn't open until 5 a.m. Plus two info for you. If stores didn't lure you in, they may have gotten to you online. One research firm says Internet sales yesterday soared 33% compared to last year. Online shoppers also spent more, too, dropping $30 more on Thanksgiving Day compared to 2009. In other news now, some are calling him the fearless mugger. He is striking in daylight hours and targeting women on the well-to-do Upper East Side. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has the story. The crime spree started here on East 79th Street on Wednesday afternoon. It's very frightening. <laughs> I'm very frightened because I'm around alone a lot during the day, and it's frightening. The NYPD says this mugger has been attacking women, striking repeatedly over the last couple days. Three of the attacks took place on the day before Thanksgiving, two of them on Thanksgiving Day. Total of five incidents, four of them in daylight hours. Including a Wednesday attack here on East 69th Street. A young woman checking mail in the lobby, forced into her apartment and robbed of her money and jewelry. She was very uh, upset and distraught. The super says building residents are being extra cautious. In one case, the mugger told the victim, I have a knife. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want your money. No one has been injured, and in three instances, the mugger fled when the victim screamed. The suspect is a black male in his 30s, about 6'1", 220 pounds, medium to dark complexion, clean-shaven and bald. Residents are urged to keep a lookout and contact cops if they spot him. On the Upper East Side, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The crimes have taken place in the area bordered by 69th and 93rd Streets between 2nd Avenue and the FDR Drive. Coming up, it is one of the most popular gifts every year, but buyer beware this year. The rules are different for gift cards. And how did they survive? We're going to have the details of their rescue after 50 days at sea. Plus, a warning from the Queen about Prince William and his new fiancée. We'll be right back.